Hola! Hola! Oh, there he is, he's down there. Hola, amigos! Um, it's me, Lee. Uh, <laughs> Lee P. Yes. And um, <laughs> hey. we've done two uh, similar videos recently to this. One with uh, Monsieur uh, Pete and the other with oh. Monsieur Rob uh, doing valve amp shootouts. And the first video that we did, which uh, Pete and I did, was a review of amps in that sort of 15 to 20 watt uh, valve amps in that sort of 15 to 20 watt category, mm. which I made a throwaway comment in there that the reason we weren't doing the smaller ones was because I thought they all sounded crappy except for this one. Never, never, never what, do you, ever. what do they say about never assume because it just makes an ass out of me and you? You ever heard that one before? Because no. there are all the letters in the word assume. Well, if, if you ass, say something, you me, can't. You. Ah, anyway, but and you then, can't make, okay. Then I had another video with Chappers where we went up one and we did all the kind of like the 30 to 50 watt ones. And uh, now today I'm back in the room with Mr. Pete to do the little ones. So these are all the like the, the sort of the four and five watt, uh, or, or in some instances six, six and seven watt. So oh, which one is seven? Is it the base breaker 007, I'm guessing? Oh, maybe, the... maybe, maybe so, that's why it's called 007. Today's contenders are um, from that side to that side, from left your to left. right as you're watching. So we have got uh, the Rift. PR6. The Rift PR6 is the amp that I use in my office for my little uh, uh, office Facebook things. It's crazily more expensive than all the other ones. Yes. So that's the sort of, that's the wild card, but it's six watts. We've got a Fender Bass Breaker 007 sitting behind bing, 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 Apologies bing, bing, bing. if that's got a few marks on it. It's been in our video room for about two years. Uh, uh, anyway, then we've got a Marshall Origin 5. <laughs> A Vox AC4, we've got a cream colored one. Um, the black one is exactly the same spec, uh, but it's out of stock at the moment, but I suspect- I prefer that. Yeah, but whatever. I suspect most of you will end up looking at the black one, uh, but whatever, same thing. Then we've got uh, what I thought, and potentially still think will be the, the winner, is the Blackstar HT5 Mark D. Um, 85R, I should say, with reverb. Ah, and then uh, we've got this very cute looking uh, Fender Aww. Pro Junior in tweed. Uh, we used that in like the video. A, like a blazer, you? a tweed blazer. With well, elbow patches. Just needs a shotgun and a flat cap. <laughs> Let's go Get hunting. off my land, you blighter. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let's go hunt some foxes. Yes. Do, uh, do you remember we did the video when they first came out, the new... Uh, yes. Th and that was, if in the beginning, it was like, uh, and then in the end, it was like, what? So, we are using the excellent Ampete 88S switcher. So, as I press buttons on here, uh, miraculously, uh, the guitar will come out of a different amp. They're all mic'd up with uh, Shure SM57s and a little bit of room mic. And Pete has a board on the floor, which I shall now show you with my GoPro. Uh, which features, actually he's plugging in this end, so he's, he's plugged into a tuner, that's where all the tone comes from. He's got a couple of Thorpey pedals, Warp, Hog and a Dane. Delay pedal from Boss, Wazza Delay. Uh, that one you can't get anymore. Oh, can you not? No, it's okay. a spring, so I just thought, it's a spring reverb. Okay, old Boss reverb pedal. Yeah. And a, a Boss looper. In fact, yeah. if it's not Boss or Thorpey, it's not on the board. Yeah, I don't, um, I'm not. It was just what was sitting in the background that was easiest to grab. Mm. Actually, um, I found that in the back of the like in a box in the back of the shop. The first part of the challenge is what we call the twelve o'clock challenge, <laughs> and it's not because it's twelve o'clock. And you have to drink like two yeah, shots. Uh, no, so all the amps are basically at twelve o'clock, and you're going to play it. If it's got internal reverb, you're going to hear it. If it hasn't got internal reverb, we'll do a little clip of how it literally sounds dry, and then Pete will stomp on a bit of reverb. Uh, and I'll, I'm gonna actually, should we just, should we start with the Rift, or should we start with the cheaper ones and end with the Rift? What do you that want to do? That doesn't matter, whatever you want to do. Right, we'll start from the we'll just go left to right. Yeah. So this is a Rift PR6, and, and I, the reverb is internal. Yeah. GNL ASAP, ASAP special from the Fullerton range. Yes. It's an American one. But Front pickup, everything on full wet. Do it. G chord. Nice. 
Nice. And there's reverb in that one. Yes. Next is a, uh, leave the reverb off for them. I want to hear just, so this is the bass breaker, 12 o'clock on all the settings with no reverb as it is. Yeah. So if we add a bit of reverb in the front end. It's definitely fatter and a little bit more, less defined. A little bit less yes. defined. A little bit more less defined. <laughs> Origin, again, as it stands with no reverb, everything at 12 o'clock. <laughs> Quick, put some reverb on. <laughs> Didn't help much. Obviously not an amp ideally for 12 o'clock settings, but we'll come back to getting other sounds out of it. So AC4 yeah. with no reverb, there's no reverb in it, so. Not so inspiring to play avec these two. Reverb. Avec la reverb. point out as well we're going for volume levels for the bulk of this demo that are sort of indicative of what you'd probably use at home yes. so not like whisper levels but just kind of like not annoy the neighbors levels yeah um, it's, maybe it's even a little bit too loud for that at 12 o'clock that's just me my neighbors so, might oh really like if you were in a flat anything. yeah but anyway whatever yeah. uh, HD5R now doesn't need reverb from the pedal because it's built in I'll go through the, uh, there are two modes for the clean sound on this. Did you have it to your favorite or? Doesn't this matter. Is, this the is first one, one sounded better. The mode. Yeah, it becomes a bit. Uh, it's more scoop. It's like it? a barrel. Barrelly. Barrelly? Is Not that heard. a? It's a, but you know like a barrel, it's like that. If you cut it in half, it sounds like a half a barrel. I'll give you the full barrel then, there you go. What do you prefer? Half barrel well, it's the back. same on all the actually. The, the, the first mode of the clean channel yeah. is more scooped, sparkly bass in it, and the second one so, is more mid range. So, barrelly. I'll give you both barrels in it. <laughs> uh, now, our final contender is the Pro Junior. You will notice I am switching this on and off. The Pro Junior does have a tendency to be a little bit noisy. But it could be um, because we've hooked up a lot of amps and there's a lot of power going around, but we don't know. Maybe, maybe, but maybe, it's maybe. a little bit buzzy. Again, I think the maybe Pro baby. Junior is a great amp to just turn up and get raucous with. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so anyway, this is what it sounds like. With no reverb, right? Yeah, cool. no reverb. Reverb? Yeah. I do like that amp. What? There's something so about it. Can you it. hear the... That's the noise, by the way, just in case you can kind of... It's, it's, it's like low level hum. Anyway, so I'm gonna switch it off now. My thoughts okay. right from the off are that the HT1R isn't necessarily... Five. HT5R, sorry, isn't necessarily quite as head and shoulders above the other ones as I thought it would be. No. Nope. And equally, the Rift doesn't sound four times as good 
either at the moment, but we haven't tweaked anything Exactly. Yet. We haven't tweaked any. They're just yeah. 12 o'clock. Yeah. And the only one that I'm sitting there going, I couldn't, I could not play that amplifier <laughs> is that one. Yeah, it's not. It's like, it's this, thin. that. I didn't mind that. This, yeah, it's still a bit, it's still not, yeah. it's not, I mean, M- it's amps, not inspiring, right? Proper Marshall amplifiers don't have a lot of bass in. No. And I think when you make them with a small speaker as well, it has even less bass in. So you've got to compensate for that somehow. Yeah. But anyway, look, we're now going to go over to GoPro mode. <laughs> GoPro mode. GoPro mode. GoPro mode. GoPro mode. GoPro mode. GoPro mode. <laughs> So here's the Rift PR6. Now the Rift PR6 is a beautiful amplifier. It is hand wired, point to point. Uh, actually, is it point to point? Yes, I think so. Not turret board. No, no, I can't remember. It's hand wired by one guy, Chris Fantana. So automatically wins for having the best name as well. <laughs> yeah. uh, literally in a little unit near. Uh, Bletchley. Sort of, yeah, opposite where Thorpey makes his pedals. Yeah. And so this is proper boutique. You know, some people call amps boutique and they're not really boutique. This is proper boutique. Yeah. And this is about 2,000 quid. Yeah. And you have got lots of options. You can choose what color you want it finished in. You can choose within reason what speaker you want it. You can choose to have the preamp voiced more brown face, black face, whatever. Yeah, that's more brown um, face with that one. This is more brown face. It's got built-in uh, tremolo. Uh, again, all valve. So let's just... And you can see that first clip, the volume was at four. In my office, actually, I use this volume more like two. Really? Actually. Yeah. I, so, so go on. What do you want to do? Make it a little bit brighter? I always put on uh, a little bit more, more treble and more bass. So if I just do the G chord. Yeah. See, already now you turn up the, more those reverb. things. tremolo in uh, it's foot switchable the tremolo oh. stuck through the thing with the microphone mounted to it. It kind of makes it awkward to film. In the back. They're, the, they're um, great though. Let's have a little look on the back here. It's a bit dark around here, but you can see there's not much happening on the back here. Extension uh, cabinet no. output if you want to. Uh, foot switch to turn the tremolo on and off. And it has a warehouse guitar speaker. This is too dark in here, you won't be able to see this, but a warehouse guitar speaker, veteran speaker, uh, 10 inch. Is it a speaker? It is a speaker, it's a 10 inch speaker. So there we go, that's the Rift. Do you want to just stay clean on everything or do you want to just get some like Dane sounds? I can put the Dane in. Put the Dane in. Just like a really gorgeous <laughs> sounding yeah, Fender Princeton. It is really Proper good. gorgeous sounding Fender yeah, Princeton. Yeah. Uh, I, should we do it now? I'll tell you the other thing, it's got two inputs. Like a lot of old Fender amplifiers, even new Fender amps. The second input is slightly attenuated, so you go even cleaner and a bit quieter. Good if you've got like a, a Les Paul or something that's very pokey and you can't get it clean enough we have. in channel one. You go to, you go to, not channel one, but like input one. Go input two and then you'll get a clean Les Paul sound. We'll do that later on. We'll All right. So anyway, next, if you can press numero two. Oh, okay. wow. Here is the ever popular, uh, actually is it popular, the bass breaker 007? I think the 15 is the more popular right. one. The, the series is popular. I don't think the 007 is desperately no. popular. This has seen some action. Um, Anyway, so here we go. As you can see, everything was on 12. So let's, uh, but and the master was cranked pretty loud, but that's because the gain was pretty low. So let's do our usual fendery type thing. So take a bit of mid range out and boost the bass and treble a bit. And here's a bit of reverb. 
Mid that sort of it's humpy, isn't it? Yeah. It is a little dark around the back here, but again, you've got an extension speaker output, a line output. Oh, you know, not much use for that most of the time. A foot switch, which I don't know what it does actually. I'm guessing it probably turns on and off this treble boost switch. Could but be. Uh, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what manuals are for. What? If you look inside, you can see it's got a single glowing power amp valve, and it's loaded with a Celestian 10. 30. It's called a 10 inch speaker, presumably 30 watts, but that's what's in the back of it. Mild gain yeah. from the day. Now, if you're not into your pedals, or maybe you haven't got any pedals, because uh, you're weird, um, <laughs> here's the amp where we crank the internal gain up, but compensate by turning the master down. So this, this distortion is coming just from the amp now. and the reverb is going in the front, you get that. Too much, yeah. It's, yeah, so you have to compensate with your, with your reverb, but that's fine. I don't like it. No, it's too tinny and too yeah. fizzy on the top yeah. end. It sounded, you know what I'm it sounded nice, just clean, with the distortion pedal on it. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so there we have the Bass Breaker 007. So, one Origin 5, here you go, you can see again, it's pretty much the same kind of controls that a normal Origin would have. The, you've got a boosty thing on the volume control, and you've got two modes of power output, high and low, and you've got some EQ including a tilt control. You no, know, this sounds like... It sounds like, like somebody playing at the washing board. <laughs> It's, uh, right, anyway, let's get a sound out of this. So the first thing we need to do is put a lot of bass in and maybe try and take some of that pick icy. Pick icy. Um, pick icy. Is that, uh, that's a Pikachu's brother, isn't it? Pick icy. Pick icy. Much better already. Volume that it does, needs yeah, volume. And, and it's like with the bass on max and the mid and the treble roll off a bit, it just about becomes okay, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, now, if we gun this a little bit with the push, I'm going to just go into let the me, low you do that mode. Put, let me put. Okay, you want to dane it first. Dane it first. Uh, okay, uh, if I'm going to go into low power mode now okay. and gun it a bit and see if we start to get some martial goodness. It's 
shame he's got a little speaker uh, in it. It's really a shame. If they just pay another two pounds for mm. to put and to put a, I'm sure people will pay a little bit extra for a 12 inch speaker in there. Yeah, let, let's go around the back. He says, for now, for now. Oh, we have a very <laughs> safety conscious back panel here. There's absolutely nothing to see. Oh, we've got to go up underneath here, whereby we can see it's got a speaker output which is being used. It does have an effects loop, and it has a foot switch on it, which I'm guessing does the full boost. Hello. Hello. How, how's it going back there, Doctor? Hello. <laughs> um, yes, I'm afraid you've got a lettuce leaf sticking out of your backside. <laughs> Just go, oh no, is it serious, Doctor? Oh no, is it serious, Doctor? <laughs> no, it's just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> what can we say about this? It looks great. Yeah, they nailed the look of it. They? It looks great, and it sort of just about gets an okay sound out of it. But hey, AC Quattro. Um, yeah, Paul. I, don't, I thought this sounded okay as it is, but what do you want to do? You want to do? You might need to press a number that four. That looks like um, a handbag for. A Vox do a lot of products that look like handbaggy, don't they? Yeah. Go oh, again, smally tinny. A bit, a bit. Put the bass end up. It's very sparkly on the top. I'll take some some sparkles off, some top off. Okay. Take the top off. Wind the gain in a bit, if you might have to turn the reverb off or down. Wind the gain in a bit. And then the uh, right mate. I can't play any more of that, we'll get soon. I feel like it sounds like a tin rolling up to my ear. There's a lot of, I've got really? a lot of, uh, it's very tinny where I'm sitting. Like it's tinny. It's not, it doesn't have a lot of bass end. It doesn't have a lot of, the bass end top is missing. It's just it's like, very mid -range it's very mid range Like a punch in like the gut. Like punch right <laughs> in there. Right. Do you want to, uh, Blackstar HT series. Blackstar! Has, um, <laughs> has a lot of features. A lot of features. So the clean channel, as you probably discovered a minute ago, has uh, two modes. So does the over. It has a switchable overdrive channel again with two modes. It has uh, a four-stage EQ section, which only works on the gain channel, and it has built-in reverb, and it can be switched between um, half a watt and five watts. And and if we look in the back here, you put your uh, Nespresso coffee capsules in here, <laughs> and make your cup of tea. And it delivers uh, your baby. Anyway, look, you've got, you've got absolutely loads on. It's too dark to see, isn't it? But you've got speaker outputs, it's you've too got dark emulator to see. outputs, you've got headphone outputs, you've got MP3 inputs, you've got effects. What? Notes, you've got a USB, out, USB audio output, and you've got a foot switch. You get tons and tons of stuff. And there are some valves in there. But I'm not sure which ones. If you That's completely the opposite of the Fender next to it, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's like yeah, completely the opposite. Totally the opposite. So let's get some sounds from the Black Star. So here's our clean sound that we use in two different modes.
again, it's a little bit brittle. You know what I mean? There's some brittleness going on. Can we have? Can you do clean tone? I'll try to see what it does with the. Yes, uh, of course. We're on your favorite clean tone now. Sardines in it. it more it seems like it gets brittle as soon as you put it into the other mode it seems like it's not real does that make sense well the, it know, seems I mean, like it's less tube driven than, uh, it's than funny the game you say that. so one of the um, observations criticisms whatever you want to call it of the whole black star HT series and I'm, I'm not sure what uh, exactly how the other ones in this scenario compare but at the gain stage on black star amplifiers is always a mix of a solid state element, so kind of like which is like a pedal built-in tube screamer type thing. Yeah. Uh, so it's not a hundred percent. It goes through a valve as well, but some of the gain in a black star amplifier is uh, done like a pedal would be. Okay. Some, some people mean. Some people criticize it for that. Some yes, but that is a pe- that's what a pedal is exactly. essentially. That goes in the front, but yeah, black I, I guess say they just but, did it because they think it sounds better. So, fair enough. Yeah. Anyway. Nice think that. I thought, I like it. Anyway, nice. I like the fact that the handle is all beautifully stitched as well. Whereas on the uh, Vox, it's like made of plastic. Because that makes it sound much better. It's got tone handles. <laughs> um, I've got tone handles. Okay. This, this amp might take me a while to Back run through here. all the features. Um, <laughs> so This is the complicated one, yeah, isn't this it? this is really complicated. You can, even, you can even see yourself in the, uh, in the shiny panel. Uh, the pan, pan lay. So called. here we are. Then that was the sound we had, and the reverb's coming from the board. And no, I just switched it, it, switch it off. Okay. And the Rift amp feels best of all of them to play. Mm. It feels better to play if that I makes just, sense. I just, I just think it's too complicated. Uh, <laughs> anyway, look, here we go. Let's just bit, try and at least do something. That's a bit like me, though. Here's, go, here's, here's with the tone turned down. No, it comes here. Just do. We might need to get uh, Tay Tay behind the soundboard here because we're going to gun the shitty shajibis out of these things. Yeah, let's do that. See what they do, and then we'll run through the prices and we can have a roundup. Yes. Are we going to play some with the Les Paul as well? Why don't you we'll do use the, the Les Paul with the full whack? The full whack. Exactly. Good shout. Here we go. <laughs> Here we are with the Rift. Now, uh, this is the gunned section of the video, volume maxed out, bass and treble nearly, you know, well over halfway, hardly any reverb, although you can't see that because of this umbrella stand in the way, uh, and no like tremolo and no pedals. Do you want reverb on there? No, no pedals on. And a Les Paul. Les the Paul. <laughs> Thank you. 
enough of that one? Or yes, it? that's enough. Okay. It, cleaned, it cleaned up pretty well. Uh, let's wind the back pick up and clean okay, up here. Bit more reverb. If I put much in and then you turn up, it goes. Does that sound sounds absolutely good. Absolutely, the business, and even wound up. It's yeah. not noisy at all. No, it's it's premium quality, it's ladies and gentlemen. Proper gentle. amplifier. Okay, numero dos. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. And everything on treble boosting. Oh. Listen, that's that's how much noisier and you can the guitar's turned down. Whoa! But, no. so, but here we go. Yeah. 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 And it's not as loud as the PR6. No, no, no. You don't like it? No, that's it. It's just been a little bit. Yeah, no, no, go on, I'll, I'll turn everything up. Okay. <laughs> Probably not a mode you'd use. I don't like it. I okay. don't like it. Origin, pull the boost, turn it up full, wind the EQ up, <laughs> full Marshall styley. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Okay, so what I can hear here is the amp wants to sound good, yes. but the speaker cannot deal with it. Well, it because does. It's a little yeah, speaker. It has a speaker output. Maybe all this needs to be run is into a bigger speaker. Yes, but cabinet. what's the point in that then? Totally agree. Totally, totally agree. Why then not just make it as why? a head? Just make put a twelve we'll put inch a in it, make speaker. it in a head, whatever. And then you've got a big stack anyway. So what's the point mm. in having a little? Amp or, stack yeah, on? I don't know because the others have got ten inch. It's not that it I can. Okay. I can. Just, I can hear it wants to sound good. Can you? Do you know what I mean? It wants to. Go <laughs> That's the speaker going. Got, no, 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 no. It's got a certain martial charm about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Can I just demonstrate what, something I always think is slightly hilarious on martial amplifiers, or a lot of old martial amplifiers? It's just how pointless the EQ is. <laughs> so here we go, this is everything on 12 and I'll start fiddling, I'll start turning everything to zero. Okay, I'll play that blue for yeah. Minimal it's difference. It's a little thing, yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah. anyway, all yes. martial amps, a lot of martial amps like that. Man, but that I, was the I best can, it sounded. But I can hear it wants to go. It wants, it wants to, to come go. Come on, why it? can't you please? Uh, it's like some. It's like a runner, and the shoes are too small. <laughs> it's like oh, can't go, can't go. Are too big. Okay, Mr. Pete. It's <laughs> quite hissy and noisy. <laughs> It's better, it's better, but it's still noisy. Very as, noisy. As yeah, very, oh. very noisy. Okay, HT5 on one of the distortion channels, everything HT driven. HT5. Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> Yeah. 
It sounds good. I it sounds it's, good. I think it's... Um, it's noisy, but it sounds good. It is noisy. I think it's uh, one of the amps where the manufacturers have obviously turned everything up to 10 and gone, let's just make sure it sounds okay with everything <laughs> turned up to 10. <laughs> yeah. Whereas I think some of these, they've just gone, no one never turned up to 10, don't worry about it. Oh, there you go. So that sounds good. There's loads of different good. modes. I, might, I can go heavier. It sounds alright, doesn't it? It sounds good. And then finally, numero six, gunned like a mother. <laughs> <laughs> One. Yeah, and it's not as noisy, but it sounds more tubey than, yeah. than the black stuff. Because it actually is louder than all the others. I never realised this. The Pro Junior is 15 watts. What? So it obviously is the same volume as a Blues Junior, just with a smaller speaker and less knobs on it. There we go. Well, there we missed the one up there, didn't we? Lee? Well, it's there we are. That's that's why it's loud. Hey, it is my favourite sound. Uh, with the Les Paul. Yeah. Great. Well, Riff PR6 is 1949. Yeah. We did, in fairness, say that there are lots of options on there and the options don't cost any more money. Uh, and there does appear to be an option to have it with a 12 inch speaker as well, yeah. albeit that that one's 10 and the one in my office is 10 as well. Yeah, or oh, you can get the 18 and it's much more headroom and I don't think it's that much more money, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I love this amplifier. I, you, I went from using a little like Mar uh, Yamaha THR and then a Vox Adio and then I got given that. I probably wouldn't have bought it, in fairness, if I hadn't been given it, just because no. I wasn't really looking to change my office setup. But uh, once you go over to that, you're just like, oh, I can't, I'm never going back So now. good. So good. Yeah. So that's that one. If we go along the rest, right, so the Fender, the, the low, the, as I said, the Rift was the wild card. It's, 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 wasn't it was only really in there just to, you know, chuck a curveball in. But the, the curve proper ball. shootout really is between the other five. It's so a curvy gonna, meatball. It's a curvy <laughs> meatball. Um, it's not spicy, it's curvy. <laughs> right, so the base like breaker spices. 007 is 399. Okay. And, you know, as I said, I thought it sounded more mid rangey, less traditional fendery. Yes, I, it's, it's, yeah. it's okay. It's not my, I don't prefer yeah. that. I didn't like the dimed sound, like nope. the everything in sound. And I didn't really like the internal gain. I just it's thought missing, it was sort of okay. It's missing some uh, niceness. Uh, the um, We have been very critical here and very honest, aren't we the now? The origin just to tell you five all. is 359, okay. so it's cheaper still. Five watts. I think we all generally agreed that its best feature was how it looked. How much was? It's the next one up. The Origin Twenty. The Origin Twenty fared quite well, didn't it? Yeah, I, I thought that was rightly, pretty good. In the, but they're all a tendency. None of them are terribly bassy, are they? Origin Twenty, just under five hundred pounds, like an extra hundred and fifty pounds. The Vox AC Four. Uh, Oh, it's even cheaper still. Okay, so uh, it's the, the the cream one is dearer, but I, that is purely and simply because it's a limited edition color. It's my dearer. Um, three twenty five for a, a black 
Fox AC4, so that makes it the yep. cheapest one of the lot so yep. far. And probably, hmm, I did quite like that one over those two, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah, that, that, um, this one, this one, and then that one. Now, I'm pretty sure that the HT5 Mark II four is, something. is the Nine dearest five. of the bunch, other than the Rift, obviously. But it has got bucket loads and bucket loads of features on it. Uh, uh, it is... Four eight nine, so it's a, it's eighty nine pounds dearer than the Fender. Yeah, it's like a hundred pounds or so dearer than the yeah. Marshall. And, mm. But it does sound good. I liked it, and it's got. As I said the USB output on it gives you the option to plug it into your computer and record direct in. The speaker emulation is another good recording feature. Headphones out. You got two computer. channels. Yeah, it's out input a lot of stuff. Built in reverb. We should Built say, of course, reverb. if you buy any of these three and then go buy a reverb pedal for it. And potentially that's... up to that price anyway. Yes. And then the Pro Junior in tweed, which looks great. That and the Marshall are the two best looking ones. Yes. Classic. Really... Classic rock. Yeah, I would say. Well, the box as well uh, looks good. And it? it's four ninety nine. So the blue, the Pro Junior is the dearest one of them all, apart from but the But highest rift. wattage. Highest wattage. Which I didn't realise. I thought it was only like so did I. 10 watts. Um, or 5 watts. But it did sound, as a pedal platform, again, it did... I mean, it sounded good, clean. It sounded good, gunned. Yeah. It was. I, I, I mean, in terms we talk about maybe as a little, I'm not sure that any of these amps are really up to gigging unless you're going to mic them up. No. Unless you're, you're a, looking for that sound. You could have a jam. Couldn't and you? you look, if you're looking for that sound, that gun sound. If you if you're looking for a gun sound with your Les Paul, mm. any the, that's Fender's the one to go for. I mm. think mm. it's not noisy. I mean, I thought the Rift sounded good, gunned as well. It does sound good, but it's too grand. Yes. Right. Yes. So these are noisy when yes. you gun them. Yeah. Them. You you'll get a sound man. He'll kick you so hard everywhere in your body if you bring this out and you gun it. Defender, you can get away with. Mm. You know, it's not that noisy and it sounds great, man. So which one was your favorite then? <laughs> well, I think to be honest with you, in the right situation, I think as an amp, if I didn't have any pedals, yeah, and I just want to plug in and play, yeah. I'm going to either want the Black Star or the Rift. Yes, but if you don't have two grand, and then I'm not two grand, the Black Star. The Black Star. Yeah. If I have pedals, I agree. Uh, if I have pedals, um, and stylistically, I want it to look a certain way. That or the Rift again. But if you don't have two grand, then the Fender. The Fender. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and if you want something that's yeah, I I agree with that. I the only thing I would that. say again. Is there is a big price difference again? You've got it's nearly two hundred pounds cheaper to have the the Vox, and I did think that that fared pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. It's really difficult. What do you think? Everyone's uh, I, a yeah. winner. He says, Everyone's dancing a... around politically, trying to keep everybody happy. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that little snippet. Uh, and as always, you know, we look forward to reading your comments. And uh, yes, Pete will take us out with a violin concerto from uh, Beethoven's uh, seventh. Um, what is the uh, symphony uh, called um, I brush my G-string with a dirty moustache? <laughs>